the internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, typhoid test. We are going to talk about typhoid. We have already made a detailed video about typhoid fever, Salmon the law, how it affects you, how it makes you sick and how you can treat, prevent, test and uh, what symptoms you have. So today we are going to talk about how to diagnose it. What is the test, right? See the infection with typhoid or paratyphoid, which is a, which is a bacteria this leads to a fever which is uh, like a low grade septicemia meaning the virus or the bacteria is in your blood it's a bacteria right and although the most important test is the blood culture culture of the blood so that we can grow the bacteria outside the human body and see which kind of bacteria it is blood culture is the main stay of the diagnosis in typhoid fever and paratyphoid fever you know what happens a single culture if you take one culture the problem with one culture is that it is it is positive in only 50 percent of the cases you have to take multiple cultures which increases the sensitivity and may that is required to make the diagnosis right there is one more thing one extreme thing bone marrow cultures bone marrow culture actually increases the diagnostic yield to approximately 80 percent of the cases and is relatively unaffected by prior or concurrent antibiotics so even if you have taken antibiotics you can do bone marrow but if you have taken antibiotics your blood culture can become negative right stool cultures are uh, usually not positive during the first week of illness so they are usually uh, they are not usually positive and so stool culture is uh, so blood culture is preferred and after one week stool culture is positive urine culture has no higher diagnostic yield than stool culture for the diagnosis right vidal test which you might have heard vidal is a test which is very very common and is but it is unreliable it is widely used in developing countries just because it has a low cost but the problem is that it's a serological assay that may react with the with the patient uh, with typhoid or paratyphoid fever, but it is not specific. It can be false positive because may because of many other problems as well. So you cannot say that that is because of typhoid. Serological assays are not adequate substitution for blood stool or bone marrow cultures. So bone marrow or culture is the most important test because there is no definite serology. There is no definite serology. Uh, sorry serological test for typhoid or paratyphoid fever the initial diagnosis has to be made clinically right there is one test typhi dot igm and igg this test basically is uh, which takes the antibodies antibody test which actually test the antibodies for uh, typhoid and igg and igm but this also does not come positive for a week or so right so after a week it can come positive the combination of the history of the patient with the risk of infection and the gradual onset of fever and the symptoms over a period of several days actually give us an idea whether it is typhoid or paratyphoid and remember typhoid is a serious problem which has to be treated right away and cultures or typhi dot or stool cultures are the main tests which you have to do not without so that's all about typhoid tests i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching stay connected stay healthy